Hey everyone, my name is Ian. I am a motion graphic designer and I create motion graphic templates for Create Studio. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Lightning Builder to create a explainer video using these dog scene. I want to start with something uh, that's geared around the dog food. So we will stick with this. All right, so now that I got my scene selected, I will go to the editor and I will have this one around happy. Dogs are usually in a happy state of mind, so let's stick with that. Nice, so you can see that laid it out in sequence for me. So we'll go through and we'll just see how it looks so far. Nice. Well, that actually worked out really well. Uh, so this, so this works well so far. Um, I created these to have a little bit of extra head at the front and a little bit of extra tail on the back, just so that you can make things um, as long or as short as you want them. So here, um, I like to do where I like to cut it down a little bit shorter so it doesn't uh, play on too long. So we have here's the intro, animating very nicely. If I may add. Um, and right here is where it stops. So I'm going to drag this down and then I'm going to bring this next scene in. Cool. So go here. Ding, ding. Perfect. There. Nice. And then we'll drag this down to here. All right. So the first thing you want to do, make sure you go in, save as, save it to the proper folder so that if anything happens, you at least know where it'll be. And then on top of that, this automatically saves it. So you'll be able to have it just save along the way. And if anything happens, you have it saved and you don't have to go and restart anything. That's number one rule with a lot of things. So make sure you do that. All right. So the way I'm going to start this is I'm actually going to just switch up the brand colors because the brand that I'm selling this to, um, they have different colors, but they'll be able to use the same template. Okay. So I'll go in, I'll start with this one. Now, what I usually do is I like to go in and I like to add colors to my favorites palette if I'm starting a new project. So what I would do is I would just say, let's say that their colors are, let's do it like that. Let's do it like this, like greenish blue. Okay, so that's one color. Let's go like this one is slightly lighter. Um, there we go. All right. Okay. Now we'll take this one. This is the lightest orange. So everything that's going to be the lightest orange, we're going to switch that to let's do that. We'll do turquoise. So their brand colors are going to be this darker color, blue, green, as well as a turquoise like that. Okay. And then we'll go like the darker, dark, darker. There we go. We'll do this like light. Cool. So now, so this one was the original orange. So we'll do that. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to swap out these because they're slightly different than each other. The darker, darker. And then this one is the lighter color. All right. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to replace all of these colors so that I can have everything. Um, 
unified and I'm going to do this now so that you don't have to sit through all of it. Okay, now all I need to do is just go in and fill in this text here. Cool. I feel like this is a good amount. We'll keep the 35% discount. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. So now the last part, we'll do at Dandy Dogs as a placeholder. Look at that. And then all we would have to go in and do is publish. And I want high quality export. And then I would just go in and just do the dog tutorial. And we're done.